just a little update on the uh, Ford Edge, getting the getting it back together. I'll probably end up getting uh, like a flat black bumper paint and painting the uh, uh, black or the plastic pieces and the handles and the, both mirrors so they come back out and make them look nice again. Gotta detail the inside still. I gotta well, probably steam clean the seats. But uh, right now I'm not doing it right at this moment. I'm just trying to get the car back together. Uh, still got to install this window. I got it in here. Got the back seat installed. Got to finish up the uh, finish up a bunch of stuff. But I think I'm gonna take and get some black paint, uh, like they use on bumpers, uh, or plastic, and scuff up the handle. This handle is actually the uh, original handle to the parts floor edge. Uh, cause the original one got broke. Um, same thing with the air in the mirror. Uh, here's the, uh, fender. I'm actually trying to get all these parts on before I can do it. See, here's the lower, uh, lower bumper on the front and the back are the same way. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of, uh, uh, black and paint those i am gonna look for a new one of these i don't know that i'll find one um don't know that i'll find one right away uh i gotta find see if i can find a insert cover for the bumper cover too i may go to the junkyard and try to find that i still got buff and polish wet sand buff and polish everything but I just wanted to give you an update. As you see, the uh, Ford Edge is coming back together. Had to dig out a bunch of bolts and stuff. Got that lower plastic on. Got the lower, lower, lower plastic on. As you see right there. Got some of the interior in. I'm st I, I still got to detail this thing. Clean it all up. Clean it all up and get it all nice and clean. That seat needs steam cleaned. Uh, yeah. Got the seats in. Got the, the back seats in. They're going to get uh, cleaned up. I still got to put that piece in. I got to find it somewhere in my uh, parts in the back room. Got this rear glass in. Still need to wet sand it and buff it. Uh, I was going to grab paint for the door handles today, because this is Monday, and, uh, I, uh, was tied up doing other things. Um, got the, uh, wa windshield washer bottle in, got the, uh, oh, all the plastic and stuff in up on top, up here, that never got damaged in the wreck, um. I still got to uh, put rack and pinion in. I'll probably uh, get a hold of the junkyard tomorrow to get that. Uh, and I may even get a used windshield and install the windshield myself too. Haven't decided. Got the uh, rack and pinion out of the uh, Ford Edge. Took a little bit of work, but I got it out of there. Um, loosen down the K member. Uh, I wiggled it out this hole, but I ended up loo loosening the motor mount up here. As you see, I loosened, uh, well, let me loosen the motor mount. Sorry about the lighting, but I loosened the motor mount and, uh, got the K member out from underneath there. Or lower down the engine far enough to get the K-member out. Uh, as I said, it has a crack in it. Right here, there's a crack. Starts right here. Goes all the way across. There's a couple little cracks right there. But it goes across. It comes down this way. Comes down that way, as you see. And then, if you look. 
There's a crack right there. It's actually cracked right here too. So this is actually really not really attached. But I'm waiting on the uh, other one that's uh, from the uh, junkyard to uh, get these out. You have uh, two main bolts here. There's a bolt. There's a bolt. Your uh, um, return line. This is your pressure line here. This is your return line. Your uh, bolt that holds your steering column in place. Uh, and then you got, uh, I believe there were eight. One, two, three, four, five. For the heat, this, these ones are, I believe, the heat shield. I don't remember right off the bat. But one of, two of them are for the, two, those, uh, Little ones are, little, little ones, there is for the uh, power steering, power steering, power steering, and then this is a heat shield, I believe, I don't remember. And then there's two more bolts right here, one there and one there. When you uh, get it out, um, I gotta put a new uh, clamp on the uh, CB axle, as you see. It's not uh, really attached. It's not really attached. But, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Here's what I've been doing on the uh, Ford Edge. Got the uh, uh, K member, drop down, cross member, drop down, and the uh, I took the uh, bolts out of the motor mount. They said you have to uh, pull the. Uh, cross member out to get them out well I wiggled it out through here took a little bit of work but I got it out uh, it does have a crack in it uh, crack starts here works your way works its way over and uh, all the way over to here and then across and then it goes down here and to right here, here's the end of the crack right here. But as you see, it is broke. Um, and does need replaced. I'm weighing on it from the junkyard. When I get it, I'll uh, get it back in and get get you updated.